Here's the stop. Kinda forgot to. Ooh, a nice Beach stop Joe from Ganon. Using his experience to take that stomp. That was a nicely timed stomp because it was barely hit. That was very good. It was about mid body of Ganon, and that's the thing with his stomp. It has such a high range. Future sure over there looking at the replay right now or the screen. If you if you actually go to certain stages, and if a character is tall enough, you can down you can stop people through ledges if they're below the ledges. It's a very scary move. With such high damage, and it can just bounce people too. So it looks like we're still sticking to Ganondorf and Sonic. Well, Vitro did fix whatever was wrong with uh, his controller, so. I yeah. Think we just saw like a huge, huge. Oh, wait. Marth. Ah, oh, I've played as Marth before. This is. Oh, we're doing a sword fight. Right. Marth vs. Link on Final Destination. His Marth is really good. Marth he used his Marth against my Lucario, and it came down to like just final stocks, but he came out in the end to one against my match. So I'm a little familiar with how he plays. He likes his up -tilt. Honestly, and in, in my opinion, Marth is a great counter to Link. Yes, it is. Which is why I don't understand why Jay Wheeler switched to Link. Because Sonic is a good counter he to Marth. I probably Marth. thought that he was going to still be Ganondorf. Well, no, he switched after he changed to Marth. Oh, okay. Well, you know what, like... But right now it's looking like Link gets the job to... Oh, no. Right there. Tip, the iceberg is real. <laughs> like, when you're playing Vichos bar, it's like... He is good at reading. That is for sure. Oh, and a nice up aerial to take out Vichos. Oh, Jay Ruler, you might never know this might be his main. That's a very common thing among a lot of players, is it's just their name that they use. Good grab by Marth. The thing is about Marth, I noticed. Like, he's really good at the ground game. Oh! oh tip! Spike! I mean, he's really good at the ground game. But, that is like, such if a brutal you get move. him off edge and just throw him off, his red recovery is just really bad. I like to compare Marth's spike a lot to Falco's. Yeah. Because if you screw it up, you can just as well kill yourself. The thing is, with Falco's, it's almost guaranteed. But with Marth, you have to get it on the tip. That is true. And it looks like this Marth has already read this Link's player right here. Yeah, this might be the match already. And like, when you know you got a player read, you're gonna read them like a book. Yeah, because they they get that's angsty. Your Bible. <laughs> that is true. They get very angsty, and we saw a nice side stick right off the edge. That's a KO. Oh, Ooh. oh went for the edge You always have to be careful with Link's up air, up B when he's in the air because he always has that last slice that you never expect. I've seen a lot of players tonight who get caught by that last swing on the up B. Oh, and just misses the forward aerial. But gets another up aerial, but not enough to kill. So there's a bomb. At least he's not getting four stocked. Vitro's level, like... Vitro is an amazing player. You gotta appear in your endgame. And, and he's just... I guarantee you, you're, he's gonna play a Ganondorf and a Marth. And That's he's put... He's you can play. see him putting the pressure on the wing. He is. Oh, and spike. another spike. That was a great game by Vitro and Jay Wheeler. Like I said, like, that tipper spike right there. That's one of the, like... I think it's one of the best moves.